Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode of the Bearded Berserker with me, Matt. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. I'm full of cold at the moment, it's lovely isn't it? When you go to work, other people turn up at work and they've got illnesses and colds and they pass it on and you come home and you've got a cold. So you'll have to excuse the red nose, I'm looking like Rudolph at the moment. But hope you're all having a great day. So if you watch any of my videos whatsoever, you'll know that I'm trying to grow myself a big, thick, decent, epic Viking style beard, depending on what nature gives me in order to grow this. And I'm kind of on my quest. I'm on a quest to find my favorite beard products, skin products, hair products, all sorts of bits and pieces to find stuff that I really kind of like and kind of pass on to you guys. And in all of these reviews, every each and single one that I'm doing, I'm not affiliated to any of the companies whatsoever. Everything that I'm doing is my own 100% honest opinion. And that's the way that I roll and that's the way that I do this. There's no point in me sitting here blowing smoke, brings up companies' backsides because that's not achieving anyone, anything good. And that's the thing, we're all on limited budgets nowadays and there is nothing worse than going out spending your hard-earned cash on a product or something, you get it at home, are you open it and you really don't like it? So I'm trying to sort of like give you guys my opinion, whether you choose to take it or not. And we're all entitled to our own opinion. So stuff that I might absolutely love, you might absolutely hate. Stuff that you might absolutely love, I might absolutely hate. So it's all open to interpretation and your own honest opinions on what you like and everything else like that. Now, like I said in last review that I done, in a couple of weeks time, I'm gonna be doing Another live one, it's not going to be as mental as the Halloween one that I've done, um, but I'm going to be doing my top 10 favourite UK beard products. I'm also going to be doing my top 10 Viking products as well. As you probably know, I love all my Viking thing, all the history behind it and stuff like that. Try and grow the beard out, the hair and everything else like that. And there are a lot of, the same with beard companies as well, actually. There's a lot of very small companies out there, one man or sort of couple teams that are making stuff. And they don't get to compete with some of the big companies out there that are selling stuff. I mean, you go on some of these shopping channels, I'm not mentioning, we all know what I mean, that you can buy stuff bought in from other countries that are dirt cheap. And people are kind of overlooking the cup the small little people that still have really good craftsmanship and skills in order to produce beard products, skin products, hair products, jewellery, clothing, all sorts of bits and pieces. So I'm kind of using this as well to kind of showcase some of the stuff that is out there if you look hard enough. Anyway, on with the show. So if you watched any of my reviews, we'll look at the packaging, we'll look at the product itself, we'll talk about the ingredients, cost of it. Then afterwards, we're going to score it out of 20, 20 being absolutely fantastic. Zero being, I'm not going to touch this with a dirty stick. And 10 in the middle being kind of like, meh, it's all right. So here we go. Now, i done a, a while back a review for Twisted Moustache, UK company. And they started doing beard balms. But for a while they were just purely doing beard oils, but they've kind of branched down to doing balms now. The same sense as the one that they had um, in their oils. So Anil, thank you very much uh, from Twisted Moustache who has sent this through for me to have a look at, see what I think, give you guys my opinion. So here we go. Now, this is the balm that they've sent through. Dun, dun, dun. This is called the English Gent. And there you go, you can see the English Gent. Even tells you what the scent is underneath. How much is in there all the descriptions and gubbins and writing and everything on the back. And this is a small kind of husband and wife team um, that are making this stuff. And like I said in many other videos that I'm doing, a lot of the little people out there, because they're trying to launch themselves onto a market that's absolutely flooded with men's grooming products, beard products and all sorts of stuff, it's difficult to compete. And the smaller companies are tending to actually care about their products more about what they're putting into them and customer service as opposed to some of those big old companies out there that are just relying on their name to say stuff, to sell stuff. And yeah, that's fine wanting to sell stuff as well, but don't forget there are actually people out there that are buying your products. It's not just all about making profit and stuff like that. So here we go. Now, just before I start, like I say, I'll show you the two oils that they sent through so you can see the packaging of that. Bit for the stash. So the packaging, 
da -da -da. they've kind of continued from their beard oils that they were doing onto their balms so there is a cohesiveness between their packaging they've not completely changed it and come out with something completely different so and they've all got different colors depending on which one you get now the cool thing with this is it's all organic and 100% natural wherever possible and these guys also have their uh, cosmetic safety assessment uh, report as well which is great news which means you're not going to mess yourself up if you use it because some of the company be careful when you do go out and source beard products and skin products and stuff like that you do have to kind of like have this cosmetic safety assessment report because that means your products are safe to use I have nothing against anyone at all in their backyard or bedroom or whatever building oils and balms and stuff like that but you obviously need to get it tested and stuff because last thing you want to do is be sued by a customer that said me faces come out and blotches and everything else like that and it's nice that these aren't full of chemicals and stuff like that that have been through this now as you can see scent on this one is the english gent which is patchouli pine needle and bergamot they do uh three other scents one of them isn't a scent because it's an unscented one so they do the chevron fella which is sweet orange cedarwood and cardamom they also do a standard lad which is your unscented one because not everybody wants scented beard balms and oils and stuff like that just want to keep their beard nourished and skin supple and everything else like that so you don't have to have a scent in it and the other one is called the handlebar joker which is cedarwood ylang ylang and grapefruit now i have used this so i know exactly what it's like and it's i can only just smell it with me cold um so it's just as well that i have used this and i've done my notes and everything on what it's like which is what's going here um patchouli pine needle and bergamot Definitely getting the pine needle through there and with the hints of patchouli as well. Excuse me. You've got to be very careful with patchouli, cinnamon, scents and other stuff like that because some of them are really, really ridiculously potent. And also when you are buying balms and oils and stuff like that, remember the scent that you smell from it when you just take the lid off is not necessarily the scent that you're going to get because once you start working some heat through it it kind of activates the scents and then you can start picking up all the different sort of hints of stuff and everything that's in there and you can just about pick out the bergamot in there as well it's quite a nicely balanced one punch level i've got the three different levels i've got zero kind of like very very subtle your medium ones and your ridiculously punchy in the face ones which i do happen to like this is kind of just a nice medium, easy going scent, not ridiculously punchy in the face, not very, very subtle. It just sits there quite in the middle and quite nicely. Now, I have used this at work. I'm not going over old stuff, but I do work in a hot, sweaty, sticky place. And scent, it's nice to put a scent on and after a few hours still be smelling it. I know as with everything, it does lose its scent after a while. But this is lasting a good couple of hours, which is great. <coughs> which is great stuff. And the ingredients on these, they're using shea butter, shea butter, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Also beeswax. The beeswax gives you the little bit of hold that kind of keeps those stray hairs in place. Not so much when it's mine and nature's intending it's curling one way and one side's curling another way and everything else like that. But it's not a styling beard wax. It's got a little touch of hold in there. It's also got grapeseed oil, uh, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil. Now, I'm not suffered with any itchy, flaky skin with this beard dry for falling out hairs and horrible. It is nice. It's kind of nourishing my skin and my hair. It's absorbed into the hair fairly quickly. And I'm sort of torn between beard oils and balms at which one I prefer. And it's nice to kind of like have a bit of both because sometimes occasionally I will use both in my beard at the same time. And it's nice when you have two different scents that you can sort of mix and match them to. A, if you've got like a deep woody scent of something, then you say, for instance, got a cinnamony sort of smell and put them both together. It's almost like a wintry scent. So it is nice if you are or do use a beard balm or butter and put it with a bit of oil as well because you can mix and match them which is quite nice now the price on these sorry that's not the oil we're doing the balm is for 60 ml £15.99 which 
it is kind of middle of the road it's not ridiculously expensive not ridiculously cheap i think it's well priced for what it is obviously you're not going to use that much because people have been asking me well how much beard balm do you use literally i am using in the morning possibly less than that actually i'm using less than that with what is left i've just put on the tattoos because it helps keep them hydrated and bring them out a bit more but I might even be using slightly less than that. So probably about that, that is all I'm using. So it's not a big scoop. It's not hair wax or gel or anything like that. It is just literally half a pea size that I am using. So this is going to last you ridiculously long time. £15.99 for a little half a fingernail every day. It's going to last you ages. So I think it's fairly priced. The scents smell exactly like they're supposed to and there is nothing worse than you go out and you buy a scent and you get it home and you'll crack it open you work it in your hands and go it doesn't smell anything like what it was said in the description and it's nice to see that 99 percent of the companies out there including twisted moustache they're saying that a product smells like this you get it home and it does smell like it which is great news this is twisted moustache's card i will be putting links down below um Put a note on the back. It's nice when you get a handwritten note because it's kind of like people say, Well, why are you doing this? It's because this is the first time as well in my life that I've actually grown a beard. So, up until sort of March time, all this was completely new to me all the beard oils and stuff like that. I just thought, You got a beard, that's it. And don't get me wrong, you don't have to use these products and everything. You can just grow a beard, but it does help to get you through that itchy stage, keeps your beard hydrated, your skin supple underneath. Because obviously as your hair grows out, the tips start getting drier because obviously it's got to travel and everything else. So it just kind of help everything keep conditioned and stuff like that. So I've kind of like, I'm on a quest to find my favourite products. And now it comes to scoring them out of 20. For me, personally, Score this is a good solid 19 out of 20. Um, packaging's great, has a great consistency in their packaging from, like I said earlier, the balms to their oils. So the packaging hasn't changed, which is nice. The scent smells like it is. They've taken the time to get the, um, sorry, the safety assessment and everything done for it. The ingredients they're using are organic and 100% natural. So yeah, thumbs up to Anil and his partner at Twisted Moustache for creating that and sending it through to me. Absolutely top job. I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> Nothing worse than having a cold when we do this, but that's what we do. And so thank you to them for sending that through. Now, please like and subscribe and comment down below. I read every single comment that is pasted. Please subscribe as well, because this is kind of important for me. I'm not in it for anything or fame or money or anything like that. I'm just here to try and tell you the stuff that's on the market that I kind of quite like. So please keep an eye out for the next review, which will be coming through in the next day or so. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a great evening. Hopefully I'll be able to do the next review tomorrow and I haven't lost my voice. Uh, but keep on loving each other. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on growing those beards. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The Bearded Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.